Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the council. This is part two of episode one of our playthrough. I am UTC. Welcome back. Thank you for rejoining me. It means you liked the first video you saw, and I've got more coming your way. If you find yourself enjoying, go ahead and click the like button. You leave me some love in the comments. I'm recording this uh, uh, these first episodes in one sitting, uh, so I may not get to see your comments before. I definitely won't get to see your comments before recording again. Um, but let us let us go forward, guys. Let us continue with the adventure. Let us find more clues, and let us see if we can figure out what the heck happened to our mama. All right. Speaking of clues, I seem to have stumbled on one here. A Latin inscription. En nesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Okay. Because we are a diplomat, we have the linguistic skill. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. All right, discovered an immunity for Lord Mortimer. Now, if you guys uh, missed this this part of the thing, in our journal, we have access to uh, details about all of these characters. He is immune to conviction. Um, these are the characters we have met so far. Their immunities, their vulnerability. Actually, we have yet to discover a vulnerability yet, but that lies ahead. And what also lies ahead is Mortimer's Manor. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Baby. Whoa. Impressive. Indeed. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. All right, guys. So we have a new, uh, a new quest. Persuade Piaggi to entrust the letter to you. And this is our first confrontation. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Man, am I glad I chose the diplomat sk skill set. Uh, confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so do not hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. All right, let's see if we can get this old Italian fool to hand us this letter. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? So he does not know that she's got that she's missing? Clearly. Never mind. Give me your letter. Will you? Let's go with this. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. What? I didn't plan on lying. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her health is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. 
If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you okay. say you work together. We're doing well, guys. What do you do exactly? Okay. I certainly can't say this. He may not know anything about the Golden Order. He may be part of it. Who knows? Professional secret story. That won't get me too far. I think it's worth using our points. Mother passed her passion for art to me. Ancient art. Very ancient. Ah. I didn't know your mother was an art lover. Mainly pre-Christian objects, which are believed to have unique properties. Well, how interesting. Now that you mention it, I can indeed imagine Sarah getting interested in that. All the same. Nailed it! It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Okay, guys, Do we you are think killing I should it. Give it to you. Do I think I should give it to her? Pretend I don't want it. If I had manipulation, we could do a little, little double, what's that called? Uh, that timer's running out. Reverse psychology. Depends on what it contains. I don't have that. Yes, I'll give it to her. If I find her. Okay. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. What? Let's not exaggerate your image. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Okay. Confrontation, last step. For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right answer or you run out of blunders. We got two blunders left. I think it'll be pretty hard to mess it up based on how well I've done so far. Promise! <laughs> I like that. All right, well, I'll give him my promise. Your Eminence, if there is one thing you can count on, it is the value of a promise made by a Dorishi. Respecting our commitments has always been the pillar of our family, and nothing nor nobody will prevent that from happening. Since you know my mother, you should know that a Dereshe always keeps their word. You can be sure of that. Thank you, my son. It is most reassuring. Nailed it! You're welcome. Especially as I promised you nothing, my friend. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur Dereshe. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Indeed. All right, guys, so I spent quite a few of our effort points in order to get there, um, but I think we did well in that confrontation. I feel pretty good about it. Obviously, I gave up the fact that my mother has gone missing. I didn't intend to keep that a secret, um, but obviously with this guy, maybe it is something that you should have done. I, I find it hard to believe that the other people here aren't going to know she's missing, right? 
Anyway, we will figure that out. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventures, so do not hesitate to look for them. I guess what that means is right now I can wander around. My next goal is to go back to the group near the chimney, which includes the stunning dime piece Emily, the Duchess of Hillsboro. Let's go. Alright guys, so uh, one thing I am going to do is take one more of these royal jellies. Actually, let's take two. And let's restore a couple more points. I think I've used three all together now, but I imagine we will find more. Um, so we are supposed to go join that group over there. I think the time is right to do some wandering. Let's see if we can find some, some clues. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. I should mention, guys, I've chosen to play with a controller, and if you use PlayStation or Xbox, it's actually going to be really easy. I have a PS4 controller. I plugged it directly in with USB, and it works flawlessly. I tried to use my standard software called Input Mapper, and it told me it didn't need that, and that one might actually mess things up. Um, so the, the controllers both work natively, which is cool. Is this more royal jelly? Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. Beautiful. All right, we'll be using this. I promise you that. All right, let's keep looking around, guys. There's more art on the walls. We may find clues. We may find more valuable uh, All of the items. Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. These are terrifying Renaissance-era paintings. Um, interesting thing, talking to Piaget there. Um, right now, we're in the midst of the French, Re French Revolution. And the revolutionaries, uh, which are, um, you know, devoutly non-religious, uh, they're totally... Um, uh, Secular, I suppose, is that the word? Uh, a totally secular. They, uh, I imagine this will be blocked as well. Okay, what do we got here? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Okay, and the door is locked. Um, but yes, the, the revolutionaries are anti, uh, are, are against the church. Uh, so in this time and period, they would be strong enemies. Somebody who was, you know, a Robespierre, who was a leader of the, the revolution. It might be too early for him. Um, but he would be uh, directly opposed to somebody like Piaget. They would be enemies, most likely, at this stage. Ooh, and so there's something here. What did I miss? There, another painting. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Yeah, this is stunning, the art that's in this place. Another locked door, I imagine? Yep. And this will be locked. Yep. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. Agreed. I just want to have a quick look, look see doodle. I think we've done that. Oh, here's a book. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Flip through it. Oh, this seems like bad manners, doesn't it? <laughs> bad manners to go upstairs. Bad manners to start stealing from the, the library. What are you going to do? Um, okay, guys, so there's one little thing on the table there. A couple little things we want to grab, and then we'll we'll see who is talking to the, the stunning Sarah. I there. thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. I think this is George Washington. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. We took the boat Oh, together. just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, oh, okay. President of the United States of America. Right on. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet, it is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. 
Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. The upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. <laughs> what were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Networking. <laughs> uh, about the surprising main door. Okay, that's uh, etiquette level one. And let's avoid the subject. Let's do that. Believe me, she's not that special. His eminence was asking me for my opinion about the style of the main door. I have to admit, this place certainly doesn't lack panache. It's simply stupefying. All right, so oh, our discretion pity. comes in no handy. No scrumptious then. gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn. A close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Do we know she's missing? Does he know she's missing? Does Sarah know she's missing? You know what? I ain't... Let's take a risk. Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I can kiss him. No, we know that's not what that is. Let's look here. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. We can trust him. The highest distinction of the Order in the United States. Maybe. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed oh, our God, host, Lord hideous. Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Um, let's wait. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already... We got our answer, Sir Holm. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, oh, I'll be able to speak Gosh, guys, home. another tough but choice. On the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Oh, guys, this is so tough. Do I stay with the smoking hot Duchess and the President of the United States? Or do I go with these two dried up old bastards? I feel like I feel like we'll have an opportunity to chat with Washington again later. But I don't know, and I don't know if we stay, if he's going to be able to talk to me, because is Emily going to be clear? Maybe she's not a part of the order, and if she's sticking around, maybe he won't be able to talk to me. As weird as it is, I say we follow these old, creepy old fools. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. Okay, I hope George isn't too bummed, guys. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. 
And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Okay, guys. Oh, okay. What is this? Opportunity. Paul, I don't... Dialogue timer. When the timer is over, the answer is automatically selected. I didn't see what I was supposed to do there. Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Maybe I didn't have an option? Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Uh... Does he know her? I would guess yes. Let's just go here. Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. No but clue? I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Oh, okay, so we only have one opportunity here. Is there anyone else missing? Who could have a grudge? What did my mother come here for would be wonderful. We've been trying to figure that out since the beginning. This we can find out later. That's an interesting question, but if the answer is no, it's a waste. I'm gonna go with this. Do you know the reason for my mother's presence here? I haven't the slightest idea, no. She was invited by Lord Mortimer. What a but waste. you don't know why. Not really. I was given to understand that your mother was looking for something. And do you know how long my mother and Lord Mortimer have known each other? Several years, I believe. They seem to know each other for quite a while. But it was the first time that Lord Mortimer had invited her to join us here. Good. And finally, would it be possible for me to speak with Lord Mortimer this evening? I'm terribly sorry, no. He really is quite unavailable. But please rest assured that everyone is doing their best to find your mother. All the same, it's not the Chateau de Versailles. It can't be that difficult to find her. Worry not, my son. I am persuaded that we shall find the famous Sara de Riche. No doubt with new adventures to share, huh? What is that? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no! Okay, what, what is, is up it? with her head? Is she having a vision? Like me? I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Uh, don't get involved. I'd rather not get involved, either. <laughs> Just sit there a moment. It'll pass. She's slowly recovering. Now, these fits of hers are quite worrying to see, but normally there are no consequences. No consequences? Have you seen the state she's in? Can you tell me something about her? Uh, who is she? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment. That's right. The seer can do wonders. Adams You're is... You're right, Elizabeth. Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Her you brooch. Gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. The sign of the beast. I know what that means. The sign of the beast? He's referring to the tattoo on her hand. Yes, your eminence. I saw it. I don't know what the young woman has been through, but she is marked for life. It is the least one can say. 
You know the meaning, don't you? Protection against the evil one. Right. It is a rare practice reserved for cases of possession, Louis. I have seen it during exorcism. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. I would like to search this room, but... So us having given up the secret of our mother being missing didn't matter because it would have come up there with old uh, Giuseppe or whatever his name is anyway. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. She is part of the order. And she's here on a case. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Something is amiss. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. We need that I won't skill. Disguise we the need fact it. That I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Now, I was gonna say, Adams is an interesting name. That's one of uh, his vice president. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have looked at his list. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridor. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, Dang she it, is not here thing. for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Indulgence? On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Guys, so many missed opportunities. Good lord. That's ridiculous. All right, Adams is the name of his vice president. Uh, John Adams, is that right? I think so. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. Okay. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. All right, we're going to do some wandering. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? All right, guys. So my first instinct, head to the Duchess's room, put the moves on her. Is this it right here? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay, well, that's not going to be an option. Uh, so let's have a wander around. Um, the servants seem to have left us to our own devices. If we wander, we will find more uh, royal jelly, devil's thorn. Uh, I think there, there looks like, if you look, there's two other items there that we don't have. Uh, so, ooh, so we may find those. That is blocked. We al may also find the coins uh, for whatever they are worth. I don't think I have looked that up. Let's take a second here. Journal. Okay, so, Elizabeth Adams. Oh! Okay, so it's telling us this information. Okay, I thought it would be odd to use the name Adams, being that it's associated with Washington. It seems as though we've gotten some information about her without, even with those missed opportunities. The daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States. Okay, why do, how do we have all this information? Bipolar disorder, terrible fits of anxiety, her deepest secrets. I shouldn't know all this. As a friend of Sir Holm and Mortimer, John Adams decided to send his daughter. With a little hope, Adams has now been at the manor for a short while. Came okay, Mortimer. Nothing. Deriche. 34 years ago, she took over the most important of secret societies. Blah, blah, blah. Since he was a boy, Louis, has, she's been preparing Louis. Influential British aristocrat. Confirmed royalist. Network builder. Uh, always finds pleasure. Godoy. Okay. He's going to be here. He's the guy who we found a letter about. Uh, regular visitor. Uh, okay. That's me. Um, everything pointed to one day young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. And Piaget. 
provided by Sir Holm, member of the Catholic Church, um, relationship with Pope Pius the Sixth, uh huh, George Washington, President of the United States, uh, military and political success introduced to Sir Didiche, um, also a member of the Golden Order. Tired of politics, he wanted to retire. Um, but that was without taking into account Lord Mortimer, who encouraged him to come out of retirement on the advice of his friend, he ran for a second term and was successful. There's a lot of information here I didn't expect us to have. No one knows why they wear the masks. Okay, I didn't see anything there about the coins. We've got our character. Um, I currently don't have any levels. We're working our way up towards that. Talents. This is another thing. Traits is another thing. We gained one reliable. I couldn't believe how many missed opportunities there were there, guys. And I wonder if that involved... Uh, vigilance was a detective skill. And uh, I think it... Uh, erudition we missed an opportunity for. Um, oh, okay. Collector coins. Okay, wait... Okay, these are the books we're going to be reading. Piaget's letter. Mortimer's invitation. Okay, and collector coins. Lost coins. Okay, so these don't seem to have any real purpose. Uh, except to collect them. Um, I plan on doing some wandering, guys. Let's familiarize ourselves with these hallways. Uh, let's see where the other people's rooms are, which I think will be important. And I will warn you. Um, Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, wow! Napoleon's going to be here. Yes, I thought I saw him in the... Uh, uh, some of the, the press kit art. Uh, I did not know Le Napoleon was in the game. Um, but yes, guys, if we don't take the time to do this, to explore the halls, to do these basics, um, we'll be behind. We will lack those bonuses, like the, the Royal Jelly, Devil's Thorn, etc., and we will likely miss clues. So the fun part is the conversations and those, those opportunities, confrontations, but uh, this part is essential to the game as well. So uh, for this chunk of the episode... This so Jacques Perru. Sir Jacques Paru. Okay, now do we know who that is? Let's take a look. Name does not appear on my list. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, um, so for this part of the video, we're going to cover some... We're going to spend some time exploring these hallways. I'll, I'll try to remember to use that sprint, skip, sprint ability. And we'll have a look around. Uh, we'll see if there are any clues... I doubt we're going to find valuable clues here, guys, but you never... Okay, here we go. The quorum guide. Okay, so if we hadn't taken uh, the di diplomat skill, we would now have a book on a decorum. Parallel life, blah, blah, blah. Rules of civility and behavior, plus one point in etiquette, which, if you have a look over here, it was a default skill of ours. Okay, cool. And I imagine I'm going to find a coin back here somewhere coins anything no okay well let's wander the halls we do have a map available to us in the same menu that i just pulled up there uh, how are you guys enjoying the game so far what do you think of it i know i said at the beginning to leave me some love in the comments what do you think what do you think of the environments what do you think of the the characters the, the dialogue are you enjoying it uh, this is ch uh, part one uh, part one this is episode one of five episodes so uh, i can only play the the beginning of the game now but um if if it goes well on the channel if we, if you enjoy it as much as i enjoy it um this is something that is going to continue there will be more coming in the near future um, as they release these episodes as they release these parts of the game i can't imagine i'm allowed up here yet it's got to be, yeah, maybe this is where uh, where Mortimer lives. Let's jog around here and we'll see see if we're missing anything valuable. A lot of chairs in this place, eh? Quite chair heavy. Okay, another room. Uh, an unmarked one. Yep, that's right. And we have to find our room anyway, so this wandering is a good thing. Sir Johann von Wulner. Okay, another name I don't know. Johann von Volna, a German. A Kraut. I think that would be the <laughs> racial slur for a good German. There's a hey, key. A Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. Alright, okay, and another. Oh, another coin? Here, somewhere? Didn't I not see? I swore. 
Oh, no, just a weird reflection. Is it? Okay, yep. Alright, let's keep exploring. Oh, yeah, check out the chairs. Somebody loves chairs. This is the most chairs I've ever seen in a hallway. The Hall of Chairs. This is a book I can take. No, it is not. Okay, another nameless room. got here guys president george washington okay and we can't bother we can't bother old georgie okay another coin a greek drachma one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the bible and in the quran interesting God, there's so many chairs and couches. It's insane. Uh, another unmarked room, perhaps? Yeah, I don't even have a little symbol on that one. What we got here? Okay, more of the same. Uh, now, it doesn't make sense. I guess it would make sense for us to take those whenever we're a little low. Uh, unless there's like a negative effect uh, to taking them. Um, but right now, we're only missing one point. Is this us? Monseigneur, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Okay. All right, guys. We're at least familiarizing ourselves uh, with the rooms. Uh, okay, we live next to we live next to Riche or to Piaget. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go in yet. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaget's trust. What should I do? I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm not here to make friends. Okay, let's see what it contains. <laughs> Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Damn but it. now it's opened. I better get it to Mother soon. Damn it. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Alright, guys, when we saw the vision of our mom with the hand missing... The room had details of blue to it, and there was also a little statue of a horse. If this is the same room, it's going to be a little statue of a horse somewhere around here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this is a different room. Aha! Uh -huh. I think it is. Maybe that was Emily's room. I was looking for details, guys. I think if there was the same room, somewhere right around here would be that horse statue. Carmelite water. Okay. Okay. This gives you the focused state. You can use this. Uh, your next skill will cost no effort. That is useful. Um, because some things water. cost multiple effort points. All right. I was hoping maybe we were in the same room as, as that vision, but I don't think so. I looked for a little detail. Ooh. Look at that floor. Do you guys see that? Where? There. Reach. Okay, I don't have the agility skill. There's something up there. That looks like maybe the, um, amber fragment that I found earlier. And I swear, how, how is that not a thing I can look at? Look at that. That's a secret passageway. Look at the scrapes on that floor. This thing swings out and swings open. Maybe I need the agility skill to reach it. Okay, so we're learning which skills need to be unlocked. That'll let us go outside. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Okay. And we need the subterfuge skill to unlock this little box. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. The conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but... I was sure the original was in Rome. 
Caravaggio is a, is a really crazy artist if you read about him in history, guys. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. Uh, I wouldn't like to be his son. That is gross. That is the creepiest picture ever. The Renaissance. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Jesus. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Okay. Alright, guys. I'm not sure what's left in our room here. This can take us back into the hallway. I wonder if we should... Let's let's just see what we missed. I'm gonna pop back out here just for a second. Um, okay. So that was our room. Huh. That's me. Uh, I just wanted to circle around. I feel like we're gonna come back to the same place we started. Uh, nothing there. Um, I feel like we will, but I just want to make sure that we, we kind of finish doing our exploration. I thought we would be locked in that room. I can't believe I opened that letter for no reason. Duke Manuel Godoy. Oh, okay, we know him! He's, a, he's our other neighbor. The Spaniard, lover of a queen or something. Okay, so this is the full circle, I believe. Is this Duchess Emily Hillsborough? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay, okay, cool. So we have been all around. We did a big circle around. Actually, let's just, I'll show you. There you go. Okay, so we got a pretty good idea of what was where. That's our room. Everything else currently off limits. All right, let's go back to our room. Let's see if we missed anything here, guys. There was a balcony, and I think there was a second room off to the right. Um, I already looked at most of this. Let's pop back in here. Ooh, look at the lighting. Okay, we just went to bed. I didn't think that was going to happen. All right, so apparently I sleep in those ridiculous looking pants. <laughs> All right, guys, this may do it unless we have some kind of crazy... There you go. Success. I went up to my... Okay, so I think you're always going to succeed and fail. I went up to the manor. I pieced together my mother's movements on the docks. I convinced Piaggi to trust me with his letter. I met Washington. I cho chose to join Sir Home in the small salon. I found a strange book on the key, and I observed Sir Home. No failures, which is excellent, um, but I did have some missed opportunities, as we know those popped up, and I could have remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington. Um, all of this is interesting, guys. Um, I think this is going to do it for this episode. Um, uh, this is chapter one of episode one of the Mad Ones. Let me just click next here and see if we missed anything. Okay. Objectives complete. Traits unlocked. Character traits revealed. New characters met. Vulnerabilities exploited. And items found. Look at the value of the items found. That's excellent. So we're now well into level two. We'll have some new points to spend at the beginning of the next recording. But I'm going to leave that here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the perfect length for one of these episodes. I very much appreciate you hanging out with me for this. Do let me know. I know I've said it several times throughout the video. What you think in the comments. And I will not be able to see those comments. At least until the fourth part of our recording. Because the moment I'm done here, I'm diving right back in. I am hooked in by this mystery. And I need to know what happens, guys. I'm really enjoying the game. Especially these RPG elements. As these will, obviously, we got points to spend. Uh, four of them, we're only going to be able to continue to specialize and open up new possibilities, new opportunities. And imagine if we'd chosen detective or occultist, the game could be going completely different. Or we stayed and talked to Washington, who we know is a member of the Golden Order. Who knows? That could have opened up some opportunity that would have happened, say, uh, in the hallways or... Um, maybe about that Adams girl who we know the president would know or, or, or knows her dad. Whatever, guys. Don't let me stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Popping up on your screen right now is my playlist for the council. By the time you're watching this, I could have made a lot of episodes. So click on that to go back to the beginning and watch through to this point. Click on my face to subscribe. And if you really enjoy this and you want to thank me for making these videos, head to my Patreon page and join for a buck a month. You do so much more than watching all the ads that will pop up while watching this series. That does it, guys. I'm UTC. This is the Council, and I will see you in the next episode.